How y'all doing? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Listen, I just got off a Zoom call, y'all. Y'all know, the last time I got off a Zoom call, it was like, <gasps> and it's basically the same again. So, bienvenidos a mi canal. Hello, welcome back if you know me. If you don't know this face, if you don't recognize me, my name is Latrice. Nice to meet you. And this right here, where you've viajado, uh, ver me, right here. It's on Faith by Latrice, where faith is the muscle we exercise around here. Okay, now let's get on into it. No, it's a link. Ciao. This Zoom card just got off with so amazingness. Oh, my gosh. Shout out to my coach, Dr. M. We love you. Um, We were speaking with um some wonderful people, some couples. And they are couples who believe in Christ and who believe in marriage in doing marriage God's way, okay? So I know I may not be speaking to everybody, everybody who's looking at me on that side of their device, may not all either believe in God or know God or, you know, have had encounters with God. And that's okay. That's okay. Because guess what? I'm just going to show you, show you, share with you um, some of my takeaways, really, honestly. I'm going to give you all scripture and I'm going to give you all a title, so fret not. <laughs> But I'm going to just really share with y'all what I really got from that um, and how ooh, it blessed me. And I'm still full from it because, like I just told my coach, she could have warned us that they was going to come on and start preaching the word. Okay. So many ways. <clears throat> but this is called, actually, because we're going to get something out of this because Jesus says that's the way. <laughs> um, what this is going to be called today is Trust the Storyteller. Mm. <clears throat> Trust the Storyteller. Oh, God. And who am I referring to when I say the storyteller? Yes. If you haven't uh, figured it out or guessed it, I'm talking about God. <sighs> why? Because he told me why. Trust the storyteller because he knows. Fill in the blank after that. He knows everything. He knows how you feel. He knows. Like, listen. I know. Listen. Look. <clears throat> bam, bam, bam. Secret though. So, y'all know how it be like commercials and ads and movies and like remakes of all kinds of things that be trying to sound like spiritual or whatever. And a lot of times those depictions be like mad fake or it just be an exaggeration of things. And really, God is like <coughs> closer than your skin. So, let me tell you something. <clears throat> just a sidebar. Y'all know I had told you in another video like how I be talking to y'all because y'all my people. I talk to God like this. I be like, listen, God, what's up? You made me like this. You made me like this. Let's just start there. You made me like this. You gave me this skin. You gave me this voice. You gave me this hair. You gave me this personality. You gave me my big laugh. You gave me my big mouth. <laughs> you gave me my thoughts. You gave me my personality. You made, you weaved me. You said, God, you said in your Bible, huh? That before I was in my mom's womb and my mother, my mom, mom, hi, if you're watching this, um, before I got to her belly, you formed me and you knew me, you separated me or sanctified me and declared me a prophet to the nations, to the people, y'all the people. So I'm like, God, if you made me, you know, my DNA, you know, what makes me mad. Let's get practical. You know, what makes me mad. You know, what makes me sad. You know, what gets under my skin, but you know what I love. You know what kind of people I thrive around. You know what kind of people make me just really feel like I can do things. You And that's why you bring me people like Dr. M. Hi. The people in the cohort. Hi. Love y'all. This is why God has brought me certain people in my life. Because he knows what kind of people that, what kind of iron is going to sharpen this iron. Right? He knows what we're going to thrive in. What kind of environments. That's why he gives us instructions. And that's why he's like, listen, I need you to trust me. Because if you don't trust me, you're not going to take my instruction. If you don't take my instruction, you're not going to thrive in the in the best way you can. Y'all following me? Huh. He is the storyteller, right? I believe the words that are in the Bible wholeheartedly. For me, personally, there is no other thing, right? This is the one book that, or one resource, one tool that can give me the best results out of life. Why? Because... The Bible is not just the Bible. It's I can't think of the verse right now, but basically the, God is the word, right? In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word and the word was was God. Boom, that's in John. John, I can't think of the verse. Look it up, Buscalo. You have the internet. Use it. Um <clears throat> so the Bible is the only book that you can read that will also read you, right? It is it is God. God is his word. He is the Bible. That's what it says in there, right? So it's not just words. Yes, there were 
like I said, when I talked another video about prophets, that's just a <clears throat> prophecy. That's a fancy word for predictions, right? God spoke through people that wrote the books we have in the Bible, right? But it's God speaking through people to tell them what to write. It's no different than what I am doing right now. All of the videos prior to this one is no different than, Jesus, thank you, God, than the stories or the books that we have in the Bible. The Bible is a compilation of many books, many stories. That be, it's a bunch of little books. You know, like a book like this. This is a journal, but you get what I'm saying. Like a book. So just picture a bunch of books in one, right? And all of that stuff is God depositing or speaking to people telling them what to say, telling them this is from me, right? And so that's what that is. So I believe all of the words that are in there, right? Point. God is the storyteller. He's the number one storyteller, right? He made all things. All things as in the earth, as in the animals, as in the air, as in the atmosphere, the galaxies, all of that. He made all of that. There was nothing before him. So since he made all of that, including people, it would be wise, a wise decision to trust the one that created all things, including me. He knows every single thing about me. He also wants me to share, to share with him everything I feel, right? Share with him everything I feel because why? It's a relationship. Personal, I'm going to just talk about me for a second. <clears throat> when I talk to y'all and I be, God, why? Side note, another side. I don't be I always want to tell y'all everything, but here we go. <laughs> um, When I be telling y'all, like, God told me or this is what I got from God. And sometimes I know. I know, I know, I know. I know it may sound like, to some people it may sound bewildering. It may sound wild. It may sound like I'm crazy. But that's okay because I don't care <laughs> what it sound like. Um, The point I'm making is, let me get back on track with Trace. <clears throat> God wants us to have a relationship with him, right? He formed us. He wants in return to have a relationship with us. So when I be saying God told me or this is what I got from God, that's because I spend time with God reading the Bible. I have quiet time. I don't always jump to talk to other people. Like I just sit with myself, sit with God, and I wait. Sometimes I just wait. I sit and I wait and I wait to listen. I listen. I'm not always just jumping to talk. The moral of the story, Latrice, why are you saying all this in detail? What is the point of this, Latrice? Get to the point. The point is to trust the one who created all things, including us, right? Trust him with fill in the blank. Your career. Let's get real practical. Your finances, your money. Hmm? Finances. Because I got like, I see I have to get close up on y'all. With your career, your money, your finances, your health, right? If he tells you to eat something or not eat something, huh? Do it. <laughs> With your, <coughs> excuse me, your living situation, your arrangements, your family, your relationships, huh? Let's get into, we get into the big one. Relationships. Friendships. Because those are also relationships. Now, let's get to the one that the TV be trying to manipulate us about. Movies and rom-coms and other things. Your love life. Trust him, because that's the big one, right? We have friendships and everything, but what's the movies always feeding us? Our one true love, these happily ever afters, and all of these other things, right? That have different kinds of ways of how they get to it. But when God's like, listen, so I got this blueprint, right? And if you follow the blueprint, you will end up with something that you will feel like is a happily ever after. But the world may not believe it. The world may not, the world may call you crazy or weird for doing it this way, but guess what? You will end up with something that they have no idea about, that they have never experienced and don't know, don't really know what the good thing is because they ain't never experienced the good thing, huh? Let me give y'all a scripture right quick because I, <laughs> let me just give you scripture. <clears throat> Psalm 37 and 7 says, because this is what came to me in my spirit. <clears throat> Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. That's the first part. Let's just stop right there at the first part. Be, pa mm. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Stop right there. <clears throat> now, when I got this be still, that part of being still, not just like mannequin challenge, but be still, God was basically explaining to me right there. The be still, it's about having peace. <clears throat> be still before the Lord. 
and wait patiently for him, having peace before him, in front of him, with him, knowing he's the story, he's the grand storyteller. He is the creator, the author of everything, right? I can have peace with him in knowing that he got me. That's really more of a story. Trust the storyteller. You can have peace with God because he knows all things. He has all things. In the palm of his hand, he's got the whole world <laughs> in his hands, huh? I hope you guys are getting what I'm saying right now. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Wait patiently because when it comes, when it shows up, it's just going to be so good. Doing life with God hits different. I can't say it no more clearly. Let me just give you some stuff that I got from the Zoom call. When you're on the path, right, the path with God, <clears throat> God will get you back on track. If you didn't jumped off for whatever reason, perfect example, the video I just did, the last one, where God was like, uh-uh, you not finna stay where you was right here. Come on, we finna get back on track. Somebody said that in the Zoom call tonight. He ain't gonna let you stay off track for long. He gonna get you back on because guess what? We in this thing already. We in this thing. So... If you get off, I'm, he's going to gradually help you jump back on track and we're going to keep going. Let God train me into hearing from him. Take assistance from him. It's okay. He's the ultimate trainer. What? That's really it. I really... <clears throat> more of the story is to trust God. He's the ultimate storyteller of your life. I promise you, once again, I'm going to say it again. Just try Jesus. If you're not familiar with him, that's okay. I'm going to just pray... And right now, actually, oh, Lord, have mercy. I pray right now that somebody be introduced to Jesus right now. Even if it's watching this video, if it's after you see this video, or something comes on your feed and you click it and it ends up telling you something good about God and you are intrigued and you try him. I pray right now that somebody just try Jesus because he hit different. I'm trying to tell you he hit different than anything else that I've tasted in this world. <laughs> That's it. If nobody has told you today. I love you. Si nadie te ha dicho hoy que te estoy hablando con mis... I love you, okay? Because listen, life be life in. But get what? We're going to prosper regardless. I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Bye! <laughs>